come to the shave. Wednesday already. Thank you, Mrs. H. Beautiful. Nice bit of colour there. Bit of pinks and reds and things. So how are you doing? I hope, uh, hope I find you well. And your day is going off. Well, depends when you're watching this. You've had a good day, having a good day. Uh, or about to have a good day. So what we're going to, hopefully we're going to have a good shave. We're going to use this PAA uh, Shave Chaser um, by Met. By wet men, by men in white lab coats. It's um, it's PAA Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. It's their homage to Skin Bracer, and it's a really real realistic scent to the original. Really nice. And this is the CK Six, the new beautiful soap. You can see it. I've used it before. Had it about um, nine, ten months. Good stuff. Um, I've placed some in this fine bowl here. Probably too much there. I only put a bit, just a little, uh, I use a little scoop like that, you see. And uh, that's what we're using. The razor is the chrome and orange, um, Edwin Jagger, chrome and orange. It is marked, I think, it's just on. Just on there, Edwin Jagger. They come in different colours. I like orange, so I picked it. It's a three-piece non-adjustable standard razor. The blade, I'm going to go with that Persona Med Prep, the hospital use blade, second time. And I think, does it say on there, on the bottom, if you look at the bottom, it says for hospital use. So um, that's, that's going in there, so we put that in now. Yeah, so how's tricks? How's life? Good, I hope. Nice. Good way to that. That is overhang to be aware of. I've got the matching brush. I treated myself to these a year or two ago now. Um, and this is again the orange and chrome. Good way to it. Uh, this is a black synthetic 21 millimeter knot um, there's a few white hairs in there as well so it's meant to look sort of badgerish as expect so that's that we'll wet that up without further ado our nice oh nice sort of warm to hot water we've got a good bit to take off there and then we go Straight away, uh, you can add a good bit of water to this, and it performs beautifully. It's um, they do good homage uh, PAA to the classics, you know, to the old, like this is Skin Bracer. They've got the cold spices for Old Spice. Um, the CAD, Cease and Desist, that was their first soap, I think. And that was um, Barber Soap. Beautiful. If you're watching Duck, do one for Palm Olive, especially the aftershave. <laughs> Doug and Fran. Anyway, hope you're all well. And that's it. This is as easy as it is. Thick and creamy, that's beautiful for me. That'll do. So we'll rinse this, rinse these whiskers off, because I need another haircut. I only ever notice I need a haircut in the shaves, because it's the only time you look in the mirror, isn't it? Well, the only time I look in the mirror. Don't want to scare myself too much. Too much. Right, here we go. Beautiful scent. Wow. And so close to the original. Good quality shaving. Uh, Shaving soap, please. As a shaving cream, shaving soap. So 
So as you can see, rather quickly, we have a good face full of lather. And tidy up. Oh, we've got the old blood and blade on. So we'll heat up the orange and chrome. So we're using, as I say, the Persona Med Prep Blade Second Use here. Beautiful. And this feels Bit milder than the last shape because this is um a similar looking head, isn't it? But uh, it just shows you how, even though they look similar to each other, these heads, there is uh, little differences. Now there's no knurling or grip on this razor. Some people have an issue with that. Uh, I don't, I've never, it's always, I never leave it soapy. It's always, if it's wet, it's okay for me. Um, but as I say, I've never had an issue with it. That's that. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a good, um, good little razor. Have your shaves going. Okay. Open. You have one today. If you are, let me know. That's lovely. Nice first pass, keeps nice and clean. Lots of whiskers. Because in honesty, you've taken most of it off on the first pass there. But you can still feel. There's more work to be done yet. We'll add a bit more water to that. Just nearly dropped it. So it is slippy with soap, as I say. You don't want that to happen with a razor. Good. Because the trouble is, when you drop a razor, sometimes it's automatically, you try and go and grab it, don't you? So, it's the handle rinsed. Look at the mess, you know. And then a child had. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Sorry about that mess. Here we go, across the growth. Well, we've had quite a blustery uh, yesterday, start of the day, Tuesday. But weather-wise, a bit, um, as I say, stormy sort of winds, but um, not too bad of a day. It's one of those days, you know, you get a bit of sunshine, a few drops of rain. That's uh, nothing.
really nice blade this you know In case you're wondering, I've had a couple of comments over the years. Um, when you when I say I'm going to cross the growth, you know, people see me going down here. And sometimes when I'm going with the growth, I go down, I forget sometimes. But all it is, my growth grows down here, all down. But it grows sort of that way. And then down. So when I'm going across, it's growing that way, so I'm going to cross officially is down to about there grows down here so i'm going to cross you just have to what they call map your face whiskers and then um, the only way to map your face your whiskers is to leave it grow depends how quickly your beard grows it could be a couple of days in my case but uh, it could be, some people, you know, very slow growing. Could be a week. But if you want to properly map your face to see which way your beard grows, and that does help in shaving. I don't always follow it myself. Usually I do. But um, you need to follow the, the way it grows, really, with the first pass. That's the main thing. And then have a look if it grows that way. Well, that's a cross, isn't it? If it grows that way, that's a cross. You know, some people I've seen their beard goes up here. It's all interesting if you take your time. It's something I and I'm sure thousands of men all over the world, millions even. When you hated shaving, you didn't care which way it grew or why it grows there, or you know. But when you start to enjoy shaving, and uh, a few of the reasons why you enjoy it is because uh, you mapped your face and it's all working nicely, you know. Against the growth, stop waffling, Paul. Please, thank you. So against would be here. Like that. It's about there. And I just go to tidy it up like that. Against. Tell it again to the cold circuit. You need a cutting. Here. Yeah. Got soap on my arm. There'd be less mess if I had a child doing this. Oh, I thought I had. Hmm. Very, very slick soap. Very slick. I found the old formula slick as well. Really good.
sure the chin's in. That's another place you've got to watch the Adam's apple. You can swallow, but I usually move it over. But I didn't today. Well, not enough. That's beautiful slickness. And then, you get up your nose. <laughs> it's a nice scent, but. Right, three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. <laughs> yeah. Just sort of I throw you here. You're just picking up. Especially in those hard to reach places. And I think for most of us, this is, especially on the neck area, it grows in weird ways, doesn't it? You know, like um, there's a piece here that grows in a, like a star. It goes every direction, so I have to. Do that. A really good slickness. There's a touch, there's a bit here. Beautiful. Give it the old cold water. And that is cold. That's lovely colours there, isn't it? Apart from that, that's a nice, close, smooth shave. Eucalyptus with hazel. And then the Pierre de la, was it Pierre de la Resistance? Or you say Pierre de la Resistance? Trying to be clever and it's not working. We're going to use the matching aftershave cologne. This is. A good restrictor on it so it doesn't sort of pour out everywhere. Ooh. <laughs> God, it's a good resemblance. Yeah, even a hit of uh, menthol in there. My dad would like this. Anything classic. Oh, I, oh, he'd like that. Oh, and if you're new, thanks for joining the channel if you're new. Um, much appreciated. Hope you enjoy this madness. But another thing people ask is, why do I do that with my hands after the aftershave? It's just a, well, lots of you will know, just um, how can I say, just a gesture 
of respect to my father. It was something he always did after he put aftershave on. He'd go under his shirt, whatever he went, just do that. Um, so it's just the keeping the memory alive, shall we say, following his steps. And then uh, we're going to use this Nivea Men Originals. I'm going to use that for a while. Good stuff. I was going to use the um, Brute Balm, but. Oh, that's nice. You forget how good these things are. That is lovely. I find these really relaxing to 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 do, you know. Really enjoy this shade. So we've used the Edwin Jagger Orange and Chrome three piece non-adjustable razor, a standard aggression, um, using a Persona medical prep hospital use blade, second use, really smooth, sharp and comfortable. Uh, we've used PAA, the Shave Chaser, as I say, homage to Skin Bracer. Excellent, easy to lather, good quality, and the scent is amazing. Um, you don't need a lot. I always put too much in the bowl, as you can see. Well, it's not a lot of waste, but uh, there's a good, we could do another few passes there. We've used the Edwin Jagger Orange and Chrome um, 21 millimeter black synthetic brush, really nice. Uh, we've used cold water to rinse. We've used the homemade eucalyptus witch hazel, which is doesn't seem to be going down. <laughs> we've used the matching aftershave cologne. Uh, beautiful. Hint of menthol in there. And the Nivea originals to uh, smooth things over and calm things down. And I'm going to sort this out now. A little bit there too. I'd rather overdo it than underdo it. So that's it. Um, if you're having a shave, have a good one. Have a great rest of the day and the rest of the week. Um, so aren't they going quick? Whew. Yeah, enjoy life and um, stay happy, safe, healthy. And I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. Many thanks and all the best.